Every year, more than 100,000 people travel to the Green Bay area to visit a one-of-a-kind museum. But unlike most museums, this one lets you experience history firsthand. In tonight's small towns, Eric Crest takes us to the National Railroad Museum in Ashwaubenon. Since opening in 1956, the National Railroad Museum in Ashwaubenon has been acquiring locomotives from across the country. Most of them you can go into, at least a portion of them. Trains from the 1920s, 30s, 40s and beyond riddle their living museum, some of them a bit more coveted than others, like the big boy locomotive, the largest steam locomotive in the world and most powerful. The big boy, we had to build the building around it, so that's going to stay where it's at. Everything you'll run into indoors has been restored by staff and volunteers to look as close to original as possible. It's a challenge considering they have about 70 different exhibits that have been restored on site. We're trying to collect unique, well curated items, things that you're not going to find anywhere else. But if you yearn for another experience, perhaps one where you can actually see a historical relic in action, well, they've got you covered on that front, too. When people come to the museum, they want to be able to go on as many trains as possible, but they also want that experience of riding on a train. This particular train is a 1941 Elko, made by the American Locomotive Company. They were a steam engine builder. At the National Railroad Museum, guests have the opportunity to go for a quick ride around the grounds and hear the story about how the railroad industry changed America. And so they not only see a lot of very interesting equipment, uh, some of the older steam engines, the early diesels, but they also learn about how this contributed to the development of the United States. Through their guided tour that nearly always stays on track. There is a conductor back there and he's explaining to them all the pieces of equipment that they're seeing. These conductors who double as volunteers give their guests a crash course in locomotive history that couldn't be any more hands-on. We all have a common interest in railroading, and so we share that experience, and it's a chance to operate real equipment. This is the National Railroad Museum, a place where nearly 300 volunteers are needed to fuel the engine that ultimately produces a bit of history that train lovers across Northeast Wisconsin are yearning for. In Ashwaubenon, covering small towns for NBC 26, I'm Eric Crest. The National Railroad Museum is open year-round, and curators tell us during the winter it's a different experience altogether.